Here is the start of the beautiful sandbar. Look how beautiful the sunset is tonight. Fins are on. Just gonna hop in. The ocean side is looking beautiful. Got my first of the day. Hello, it is Saturday and I am going to be in the Keys for a week. Interesting. We just got here yesterday and kind of late afternoon. And today the first thing we wanted to do was to come over to Alligator Reef and swim around a little bit. It is, I'm sure as you can probably feel, extremely rocky. It was a terrible ride out here. It is just, yeah. But the water is clear and that's all that matters. I can go swim with my little fishy friends and have a great time. So, I've already got my wetsuit on pretty much all the way and I'm gonna hop in the water. I love to just turn off the boat, have someone stay on it, and kind of drift around and see what I can find. So, we're putting on a timer of 30 minutes, and I'm gonna see how many conch shells I can find. Most of them will probably have animals in it, but that's fine, it's kind of just fun to hunt around. The water is still freezing, so I will have to be wearing my wetsuit. We just went for a fun little swim, and the water is so clear and beautiful, so it's the perfect day to go hunting. The only issue is that it is very windy and the boat's rocking, so if you have seasickness, this is not the day to go out. Fins are on. Snorkel on. And we're just gonna hop in. We gotta set the 30 minute timer and we'll see what we find. Today's adventure is to head to the sandbar with Hurley. He's so excited. He's getting a little bit toasty, so we gotta get this boat on the move. Today the wind is coming from the north, which means the bay side where we live is not the best conditions, but the ocean side is looking beautiful today. All right, let's get this show on the road. sandbar on the weekends this place is absolutely filled but luckily we have the luxury of coming on a weekday which is exactly how I like it I like to hang out at the sandbar but I don't need all the people and all the music and all the commotion going on so it should be the perfect day for this all right Hurls is gonna get in he's super excited <laughs> Really is having the best time ever out there. Ever since we got our boat, I've been dreaming of being able to take him out here, but the weather has just not cooperated, or if it wasn't, I say, I wanted to go out and not here. But look at him, he's so happy just running around. <laughs> also, the sandbar today is perfect. There's like, I don't know, what, five other boats here? And look how gorgeous the water is. It's a little windier than it could be, but definitely not too bad. The wind is slightly cold. A cold front just came in, so that's something you can avoid, but I'm so excited to be here. It's the most beautiful place here. And we've made it back home. That's the 
great part about the sandbar trip is that it can just be a quick little go out there, throw the ball, hang out, and come back. The honest truth though is that it's in the 60s and with the wind, even though it wasn't like too bad, it's cold. And like a cloud started coming over. So quick little trip, had a good time. Hurley had the best time. He did not want to leave. And now it's a beautiful day back at home. Best thing we do in the Keys, as I'm sure you can tell by my face, is sunset time. Because look how beautiful that is. Here are all the birds that show up. We have tons of pelicans in the winter time. Egrets, great whites, and they do not know any kind of personal space. The eagles tonight are absolutely ruthless. The sunset was really pretty. So I'm hoping to have a pretty awesome boat day today. The weather is a bit chilly, but the wind finally got down for the first time in days. So we are definitely taking advantage of that and going to be out on the boat all day long. Right now the plan is to go check out a reef, maybe look for some conch shells or bring in the fishing pole. We just gotta load up the boat and head on out. Let me show you this cute addition to the family though. We have a rabbit Peter. So basically someone dumped off a bunch of rabbits in the neighborhood and a bunch of our neighbors have slowly started collecting them. But this one's name is Peter and he loves our house. He's having a little food. Look how cute he is. He is such a sweetie. Somehow we are always attracting different animals here and I love it. The boat is loaded, the sun is out. It's actually kind of hot. I know it's gonna be cold when the wind is actually on me, but right now it's pretty hot and we are headed out. The Florida Keys is so naturally pretty. Around these mangroves, you can see how clear the water is. And this is what the Florida Keys is built around, all these mangroves. So the first stop of the day is hens and chickens, which this is probably the reef I went to the most growing up. Not very far out, so it's a super easy one to get to. And here you have so many animals, usually nurse sharks, tons of turtles. Over by the marker of the reef, there are just like tons and tons of barracudas. And then besides that, any normal fish you have around the area. And on a good day, this place is beautiful. The issue with it being so close though is that it gets mucked up pretty easy. So I'm hoping it's okay today. We've tried to come out here a couple times and usually Alligator Reef is a better spot to go because that place is pretty much always clear. So we're gonna hop in and see what we can find. disappointing i used to love diving here but i think with the winter time and how cold it's been this year the animals are just not out and about and it wasn't like that clear it was fine but it was, uh, we'll be back in the summer and i'm going to show you guys this reef because it is so beautiful in the summer but i did a little bit of cleaning got some mono austin cleaned this up and packaged it perfectly so we can check that out and then it had some interesting lures on it. So we got that out of the ocean. I saw a turtle. I almost didn't see the turtle. I was diving down to get just like a video. I had given up a video of like the fish. The turtle was right where I was diving down to just like taking a nap. So that was a good find. And then we also saw an eel. Nothing too crazy today. And it's just too cold. It is so cold being in there. It's just not enjoyable, honestly. So I think we're gonna head out over by alligator. I don't think we're gonna swim at alligator, but Maybe we just go out to some clear water and see what else we can do. All right, we're out in the middle of the ocean. Plan is I'm going to hop in and look for conch shells because you guys have been loving that and I have been loving that. So hopefully we can find something cool. If we do find a special one, I think we're gonna use the water housing to take some cool photos with it because that has been my goal for a while now. I used to do that all the time, but all those photos now are on a GoPro and I want them on the fancy camera. All right, I'm hopping back into the freezing cold water. Let's find some conch shells. Got my first conch shell of the day. Got a pretty big hole in the back, but that's a good size. Nothing's gonna live in it. So it's a perfect one to take. 
I just found a really good one. This one has a hole in the back, but besides that, it is so pretty. I think some of us have illegally poached it, but that is a good one. Tonight's mission for sunset is to save a pelican. For a couple nights in a row now, we've noticed a pelican that has a hook in its mouth. So we got a net and we're catching it tonight to go help it and have someone take the hook out. Look how beautiful the sunset is tonight. Oh, is that your casting net? Uh, we've got the cast net ready to go and we're gonna try to sneak up on him. Okay. The first night didn't work out, but it's night two and we're gonna get this pelican tonight. Here's little guy, he is such a sweetie. He's very friendly and Austin's getting that net together in the back. Hopefully we can keep him around. The new plan is to try to get him in the water because on the dock, he just keeps slipping out. 